Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to install Windows Server 2019 either on a VM or a full-blown server system or a normal laptop. So without further ado, let me show you how to do it. Alright guys, to get started installing Windows Server 2019 on your PC or server, you can just download the version that you need. I'm going to download US English from this website. I'll leave a link in the description below. This is downloading straight from Microsoft. You can see the download link pointing to Microsoft, so it is completely safe to use. I'm going to minimize that, wait for it to finish downloading, and be right back once it's done. There you go, the server 2019 has been downloaded. What we're gonna do is either create a bootable USB, or you can burn it to a DVD if you're old school. But we're going to use Rufus, so you just go to your Google Chrome, go to rufus.ie, download the 3.18, click on it, launch it, it will show you something like this. Now we go to select and select the ISO that we just downloaded. It should look something like this. Standard Windows install, GPT, UEFI, everything looks good. Select your USB portable disk or something like that. If you're installing on an external SSD or something like that, you can go Windows to go, but I do not recommend it for Windows servers for obvious reasons. You can name the drive here and click on start. Press OK to make the portable disk. You can restart your PC, then hit the boot menu button. For my laptop, it's F2, then F8, and then you will get this screen. All right, guys, we're in to the setup. I restarted the system. You can see it looks something like this. Choose your language, press next, click install. Give it a few seconds. Select the one you want. If you want a desktop experience, select the standard or the data center with desktop experience enabled. I'm going to go data center, because why not? Click next. Accept the license terms, custom. You can configure format, blah, blah, blah. Just hit next for now. If you just want a clean install on a brand new disk, you don't need to do anything. But if you have existing disks, you can manage it from here. Hitting next, give it a few minutes. At most, I think it should take 5 to 10 minutes. I'll be right back once it's done. You can enjoy the time lapse. Alright guys, the installation is done. Restarting. And there you go. After a lot of time, we're back and we're on the setup page. So all you have to do is set up some passwords so you can get into Windows. I'm gonna set it to my very secret password. There you go, it has to have one uppercase, one lowercase, one number, and one special character. Once you do that, should be good to go. Give it a few moments, and bam, we're on Windows. There you go, we just landed on the desktop. Now you can jump into Server Manager to do crazy things such as start an Active Directory, maybe make a terminal server out of this. You can definitely evaluate the trial version for at least 30 days so there's that there's our server manager and there you go guys i hope this video helped you install windows server 2019 you can do whatever you want with it you can take it out for a spin because you know you can learn a lot if you haven't used a server environment before you can just jump in install it in your vm maybe instead of your whole system run a vm inside the windows server really sky's the limit you can even get remote desktop services ready so you can access it from anywhere you want and there you go that's all done you got 180 day evaluation trial not 30 days actually so that's pretty nuts and there you have it guys that's how you install windows server 2019 if you need to check it out for whatever reason i hope this video helped you smash that like button if it did consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell just down there Check out my other videos right here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.